Get ready for a lesson on banishing brain fog, you guys. Here we go. Everybody, welcome to the Aroma Specialist. Thank you so much for being here. So I promised you today that we were going to make a blend that would help with brain fog. So this particular blend is for a client that, that suffers with fibromyalgia. And one of the symptoms is brain fog. Um, there's so many symptoms with it, right? And so not only with fibromyalgia, but a lot of different chronic conditions come with that brain fog. So when I'm thinking about a blend, I'm thinking about a lot of different things. I'm thinking about all of her symptoms, not just the pain and discomfort, but the emotional issue behind it, um, the brain fog, what that brain fog does, what she's not able to accomplish. And the goal is to help her to get back to balance. And so essential oils, these plant-based goodness that, that we have, work with our bodies to help bring it back in balance and help us to be at the best that we can be. So you know our mission here at the Roma Specialist is to help you to unleash the full power of essential oils safely and effectively. To really get more effective with the synergy of the blends that you're using um, and making sure that it's addressing more than one thing at a time, but in the proper way. And so there's so much to share with you. I'm very excited about it. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of the blends that I have for you, the recipes, the tips, the encouragement, the education on how to properly use the essential oils. So I decided for this client to make an inhaler. Why an inhaler? An inhaler is a perfect thing when number one, you want to use your oils privately. You might be having a moment, you can't focus, you can't think straight, the brain fog is in full effect, and you just feel stuck. You can pull this inhaler out and use it, um, which is fantastic. And I'm just going to kind of show you how, not on hers, <laughs> but one thing about your inhaler, you oh, it's only for use for you. So you pull it out, and this is how you use it. that is now my inhaler because you should only use it for personal use. So it's a really great time to really help you enlist some good deep breathing and at the same time because olfac your olfactory is now being um, invited to start working it goes right into your system and we know the essential oils work with the cortex and the limbic system which is directly connected to your mood so, and also your thinking and your focus and all those kinds of things. So this is why I want to use an inhaler for this particular situation in this particular client. Someone else, I might say, no, let's diffuse for you or, or let's do a rub. But for her, an inhaler is really great. So if you want to try an inhaler, this is a great recipe. Um, I'm going to be using four oil, oils. You just need a little bowl. And I've already gotten started with five drops of lavender. And that's because I did a take of this earlier. And so it's already already got five drops drops of lavender in it. Now I know what you're going to be thinking. A lot of people are like, that's, it just feels like that's not enough. How you know? It just doesn't seem like it's. I promise you, it's enough. These oils are potent. You don't need a whole lot. So we're actually going to put five drops of each each oil. So we have five of lavender, and now I'm going to do five of peppermint. And sometimes it takes a minute to get them started. One, two. Three, I think you can see that coming out, four, and five. That's not easy to do. I'm always saying that, right? Because it's hard to get control of the oils. The next one I'm going to use is frankincense. Why frankincense? So first of all, why peppermint? Because when you're, when you're working with brain fog, <laughs> sorry about that. When you're working with brain fog, one of the things you want to do is to kind of open things up. And peppermint is really great for that, for energy, Kind of get things moving and open and that's going to help quite a bit with that it's also going to help with her mood um having that peppermint there's nothing like right you guys when you inhale pure peppermint it's so wonderful oh and when i just added that i just got a whiff of beautiful frankincense oh this is liquid gold so we call it liquid gold because it, it truly is it's a beautiful oil that just really helps with grounding and focus so whenever you think um, you're thinking about your brain and, and fog and, and wanting to clear that up, think about frankincense because it's really a great oil for focus to kind of one of the things that happens with brain fog is that you're all over the place. Sometimes you just can't think at all. 
And sometimes the thoughts are incomplete. They're jumping from one place to the other. Like that frankincense. Okay, so this is why we're adding that to her bloom. And we're going to do five as well. So that was, I'm going to say, I'm going to do one more. But that's the thing. They come out so fast like that sometimes. And sometimes you're going to get a little bit extra. And I don't want you guys to panic over that. It's just I don't want you to overuse it. So this is why I usually say, you know, less is more with oils. You really don't want to overdo it. Orange is our last one. Why orange? Because orange, sweet orange, you want to do sweet orange. Um, it's a different it's a different orange than what your general orange might be. If you want the Latin names, I can give you those. But the common names people are more familiar with, so I'm going to use that. And so orange is really great to address some of the emotional issues that come with fibromyalgia. And like we said, many chronic issues. So orange is really great for soothing the emotions, for helping to release some stuck emotions, for helping you feel worth getting up and doing something, for helping you feel like rolling out of bed, for helping you feel like you can make it through the day. Orange is really great for that. So think about all the benefits of all the different oils that we just, that we put in this blend. And she's going to be getting all of that. Woo, that came out so fast. So that was probably about six or seven drops. But we want to aim for five on that. All right. So our blend is done. Now, the next thing you want to do, get a pair of tweezers. These are clippers, but you can use tweezers or you can use one of these, whatever you have. Just make sure that they're clean. And you're going to take um, your cotton strip that's going to come with your inhaler. And you're going to put it in there. Can you guys see that? And you're just going to roll it around with the oils. Now, you're going to feel like, oh my goodness, all the oils are in the bowl. That's what you're going to be thinking. It's not. You're okay. Just keep rolling that around in there. All around, get all the sides. That's all I'm doing. It's almost like I'm stirring. I'm just kind of flipping, flipping it side to side. And that's what you do. And you're pretty much just letting it absorb it. My hands are clean, but I still don't want to touch it. You do want to wash your hands before you get started doing this stuff. And even if it's for you or a family member, this is going up your nose. So you want it to be clean. So another issue with that. Um, cotton is heavily sprayed, so use a cotton wick like this that's 100% organic. You don't want to be breathing in those chemical sprays. And so you'll kind of get an idea that the um, oils are nice and absorbed when your bowl is not as shiny. So you kind of let that sit. I'm going to let that sit and absorb for just a, a minute while I talk to you about this blend a little bit more. So you can kind of stir it around and then let it sit and just absorb the rest of the oils. So um, I want to talk to you again just about the blend and about putting things together like this. So this is a great blend for you, for you to try. And if you're not sure or you don't like some of those aromas or you don't have those at home already, let me know what you do have and I may, might be able to give you some suggestions. Also, let me know what your specific symptoms are because you may have something, you might have fibromyalgia, but be dealing with something completely different. You may have overwhelming anxiety. You may be getting really bad headaches. Um, the joint pain may just be what's unbearable for you. It could be so many different things. So let me know what those symptoms are, and I'll let you know honestly what essential oils can do. What you're going to hear at the aroma specialist is not going to be outlandish, you know, over-the-top stories. It's really going to be the truth of what we know essential oils can do. And also remember, too, that everybody is different. So what works great for my body may not work as well for you. Or what worked for your friend that had such a great reaction may not work so well for you. And so it's it's why it's really good to work with someone who's educated and certified and knows the essential oils and understands the various conditions that people are, are using them for. And it's really going to help you to get the best results. So again, that's our mission here is to help you to unleash the full power of essential oils safely and effectively. Okay, so... That's pretty much soaked up. I'm smelling it. It smells so amazing, you guys. She's going to be so happy with that. So here you take it. It's so easy to do. You just drop that in there. 
Mm, yes, I do still smell it in the bowl. And here's the top. I'm gonna make sure it snaps. Hear that? And she's got a beautiful inhaler. And again, she's just gonna twist that top off just like I did this other one. Here's mine. Once, so that's the bottom part that you put it in, put in. That's where I, where your where your um, cotton wick goes. And then once you snap that cap on, it's ready to be used. That's what you want to do, okay? And use it as needed. Use it as needed. If I'm working with you personally, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more details, but I would just say use it as needed. Um, that's what I like to do if I'm, you know, using it for something specific and I'm feeling a certain way. It's like, let me get my inhaler and just have, take a minute and just go ahead and breathe that in. You don't want to be doing it constantly all day long. It's just like diffusing. It doesn't need to happen all day long. So you're good to go with that. Please like and subscribe and also comment below. If you have a blend that you use that's helped you, feel free to comment below on what oils that you used and we'll talk about it. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here. Bye.